As you now know, all shapes in Illustrator are created using points, paths, fills and strokes. But you can take this one step further, in fact many steps further, by cutting and separating points and paths and joining them to other segments to create brand new shapes and forms. Then we'll create a custom button shape for our website homepage by throwing together a selection of the techniques that we've learned so far. Let's start out by just doing a quick exercise in how Illustrator deals with joining points and paths together and how we can separate those. I'm going to make sure that we're on our logos layer here in the layers palette and let's drag over and look at the left hand sort of spare space we have. We're just going to play around in here for a little while. Now what we're going to do is start out by drawing a circle. So come over here and choose your ellipse tool from the tools. Hold down your shift key, click and drag your shape. It doesn't really matter how big it is. I'm going for roughly 200 millimeters, something like that. Do make sure though that you hold down the shift to constrain it to a circle. Now let's say we want to slice the top of this shape off. Okay, as if we sort of draw a straight line through here and separate the top half from the bottom half. All right? Now we can do this any number of ways. Over here in the tools we have the eraser tool. Now if we click and hold on that you'll see we have a scissors tool and a knife tool. Now the scissors tool is used to basically click points around the outside of the path to generate new ones and to cut the path at those points. But the knife tool is actually the fastest and easiest way to do something. If you really want to just slice through an object and quickly separate two individual paths this is the one for us. So this is what we're going to use. Go ahead and select that and very simply click and drag here through the object at any angle okay and you can see exactly what's going on it cuts the two pieces visually together looks like we've generated an extra path there but if we go back to our selection tool click here reselect and move out you can see it has indeed created two separate paths based on the shape that we drew that's very cool it actually looks like a hard boiled egg here that we've taken the top of what I'm going to do is undo a couple of steps so we go back to the original shape this time go back to the knife tool and hold down the option key or the alt on the PC and your shift key now as we click and drag through the object you'll see we get a perfectly straight line and that allows us to do a very clean and tidy segment there okay so once again if we go back to the selection tool and only select the bottom part and delete we're now left with our top segment which is exactly what we're looking for now even though we have a fill here we can go to outline mode and see that we do indeed have a closed shape this is where the scissors tool is different it wouldn't actually give us a path through the bottom here but what we can do to get rid of that is get the direct selection tool click on the path between the two points so all we're doing is selecting this path segment and hit the delete key to remove it all right now when we go back to preview mode it will look the same but we know that it's an open path so for now let's stay in outline mode all right now if we go back to the main selection tool I'm just going to zoom in a little bit what we want to do is show you how we could create something like a smooth wavy line where we have a path that comes up and down like this one does then we have an exact sort of 180 degree rotation one which continues on from up here and then essentially we could continue duplicating that and getting a nice long wavy pattern well easy enough to do to make a duplicate we option drag a copy of our path as you know already how to do let's go to free transform with the E key hold down the shift key to constrain our rotation as we drag around the outside and take yourself to 180 degrees okay if we now go back to the main selection tool let's just move this over here so the points are, are somewhat different in their location all right and we can see how illustrator joins these things together now if we go ahead and select both paths we've got the selection tool here so we're picking up all of the points the entire objects themselves if we press command J or control J on the PC that will join the two paths together using the two closest points and in this case it's a straight line it's not what we want but in some instances that can be very handy and in fact we will use that in a short while so go ahead and undo that what we can do instead is take our path make sure we grab our anchor point okay go over and drag it on top of the other one until we get our intersection okay now you can always zoom in and just check to see how we're looking there even at 6400 percent that looks pretty good to me all right but our smart guides they're called smart for a reason okay now we've got two separate paths here same thing one and two we want to join these two paths where they overlap so this time let's use the direct selection tool click and drag to highlight both of those points where they overlap you see the other ones are hollow then again all we have to do is command J or control J on the PC to join those together if we now go back to our main selection tool and go to preview mode we can see a straight line that joins them because again we have a fill but if we select it this is all one object at this time if we press shift X remember that keyboard shortcut from way back at the beginning that will switch our fill and stroke so we now have no fill but a gray stroke so let's go ahead and change that so we can see what's happening let's click on the stroke icon over here 
and maybe change it to just the default black and then come down here to the thickness and I don't know let's go up to maybe 20 point something like that okay so now you can see a very smooth consistent line because we join these points here in the center this is one continuous path